it's your girl Jen Seen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the January Ipsy Glam Bag. It's the first glam bag of the year so I'm really excited. I did take a sneak peek at some of the products in there because I wanted to show you guys uh, me using them and kind of give you guys some feedback on that. So I already know but uh the ones that I could use, I did use, and you'll see what I mean. The ones that I didn't, I'll just swatch them or I'll just show you guys them. So, yeah. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos. I'm shooting it for three times every week, if not twice a week. So, uh, you don't want to miss those. And don't forget to click the bell down below so you can get notifications. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, my ride or die subby, hey, thanks for coming back. And uh, today's going to be a really fun one. So the first item from my glam bag was actually outside of my glam bag, so I felt like I should mention them first. This is uh, two lovely masks here. They're called Love Recipe. This first one is a Acai Berry Mask. And this next one is an aloe mask. So the acai berry, I'm guessing, has lots of antioxidants, of course, you know, because it's got berries. It does have, like, a bunch of Korean characters, so obviously it's a Korean beauty brand. <laughs> and uh, let's see, oh, there's an English portion here. So obviously you have to wash your face before you use it, apply toner, and then put this on a sheet mask for 10 to 20 minutes. And use your fingers to gently pat any remaining product into the skin after you take it off. So that sounds pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I will be trying these out, this one right here as well, on Snapchat. So make sure you go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. That's where I do a lot of unboxings and just kind of talking about my feelings about products, little mini product reviews, you know. It's just easier to do them on there. By the way, if I sound super congested, it's because I've had a sinus infection for like two weeks. It's really annoying. Uh, I'm kind of on the tail end of it, but yeah, that's why I sound like so nasally, you know? So moving on to the actual bag right here. This is what the bag looks like. You know, it's really cute. Same uh, size that the, all the Ipsy bags actually come in. And I just like using these for, you know, traveling, these cute little bags. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, okay. So first up, this is from the company SL Miss Glam, and this is their blending brush. It's called the L34 Blend Beauty. Now, I actually have two of these because I went to Gen Beauty and got them as free gifts. I love these blending brushes. They are really, really good at what they do. You can also use this for a nose highlight or just if you want to do a little bit of a highlight on your cheeks, you know. I feel like this brush has just so many uses and maybe if you do nose contour you can blend out your nose contour if it's cream or even if it's powder. You can use this for so many things so I'm really glad that now I have three because I feel like you know I just can't get enough of them. Next up this is from a brand called Tem2. It's their base smooth and matte primer. So this comes out white as you can see right here and I'll show you guys a clip of me using it. Basically um, it comes out and it's really smooth and easy to spread. I didn't really like the smell of it. Uh, I mean there's no fragrance added in it but it just smells a little weird. I wasn't used to that. Most of my primers don't have a smell. Um, when it does go on, I like that it feels really smooth. Um, as you can see my makeup right now, it does look really nice, really smooth and matte. So if you are somebody that has oily areas on your face, this is really good to just use, you know, in your T-zone or wherever you get oily. I feel like um, this looks really good. Obviously, I haven't tested it out for all day, but so far as my first impression, I'm really liking it, and I would definitely purchase it again. Next up, this is a blush from the company Monica Kadar. 
I've really been wanting to use some of her products and I've seen her concealer and at first I just thought that she didn't really offer anything for women of color or someone with just a deeper skin tone. So I didn't even know that she created blushes, but this blush is so freaking beautiful. The one thing that I don't like about it is it's kind of hard to open with nails. I kind of have to pry it open. But as you can see, it's kind of like a corally pink color. And it goes on, it's actually very pigmented. If you guys have seen me talk about the Shea Moisture blushes, this is right up there with that pigmentation. You need a little bit on your brush, sweep it on your cheeks and you're good. Um, as you guys can see from the clip of me using it, it does go on really smoothly. It doesn't have, you know, any, it doesn't go on patchy or anything like that. It looks really nice. It has a very subtle sheen to it. So if you're not somebody that likes a lot of sheen, just maybe don't use highlighter on top of it afterwards. But it does look really beautiful and it does not emphasize your pores, which I love about that. It's really hard to find a blush with some sheen to it that doesn't make your pores look nasty, you know? <laughs> and last up, I was really, really excited for this bad boy right here. This is a pigment by the company Naked Cosmetics, and this is their Desert Sunset Pigment. I haven't actually used this on my eyes today, but I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. It's this really beautiful shimmery color. It's got, you know, it's got that de desert sunset kind of look. It's like, corally and pink and it just looks like it's really going to be nice for when you want a little bit of a sparkle on your lids without using glitter and it really blends as I'm blending on my finger it just blends so nicely so uh, I'm loving it so far and I can't wait to use this in a look for you guys I really hope that you guys like these I was really impressed I feel like I can actually use all these products I'm gonna be incorporating them into my makeup and I felt like the brands put out really quality products. Sometimes you get one that's just kind of like, uh, I guess I'll give this away, you know? But I feel like Ipsy's really stepping it up, especially with last month's bag. I thought it was super bomb. So yeah, I can't wait. Um, in my next video, if you guys are interested, I'll be talking about the Colored Rain Cosmetics Queen of Hearts palette. That's what I have on my eyes today, if you've been peeping my eye makeup. And if you've been following me on Snapchat and you've already seen the peak of this and you've heard me talk about this, this should be really awesome because I'm going to show you guys how to use this to create really dramatic, sexy eye looks.